This is problem number four from section 5.5. .5. Again, they want us to evaluate the integral. Uh, this time, though, they're not giving us u substitution again. So we have to go through and we have to figure out what do we want to make, what, what, what expression, p plus six or p, which one of these do we want to make u? Now, this one's a little tough to kind of decide, uh, but I would always go with the one with the exponent. We want to probably make the p plus six uh, u because of this exponent. So I'm going to start with u equals p plus six. Now when I look at this, I, and I know I take the derivative of p, I'm going to get one, which is not going to cancel this p. But we've got a way around this. So let's go ahead and just follow the process, du over, and now i got to say dp instead of dx because uh, we have p's in this equation. So du over dp of this is one. I multiply that, that means du equals dp. Okay, so you can see when we go ahead and we plug this in, we get p, this would be u to the fifth. I substitute the dp with du. You can see that, that we have a problem because we still have a p in here. So how can we get that p to not be in here? Well, we wrote an expression up here, u equals p plus 6. What if we use this expression and solve for p here? We'll get p in terms of u. So let's subtract the 6 over, and that would be u minus 6 equals p. Ah, we can take u minus 6, plug it in for p in the equation, and now we have all of our terms in terms of u. So let's go ahead and do that. So integral u minus 6. Uh, then that would be times, that would be, well, we know u to the fifth, we can just write u to the fifth, du. Now you can see where this is going to, this, this basically switched our inside expression from being uh, two, uh, basically uh, two terms, to now the inside expression with that exponent being one term. Now we can... Uh, and vice versa, one term on the outside switched it here. So we can now distribute. And when we distribute, you'll see it's pretty convenient. u to the sixth minus 6u to the fifth du. So if we integrate this, this is a pretty, pretty easy integral for us. We know that we add 1. So we get u to the seventh over 7 uh, minus 6u to the sixth over well, 6. And then we say plus c. So we can go a little further and we can say u to the 7th over 7 minus u to the 6th plus c. And we can plug in our u value and our u value was p plus 6. So we can say that that is p plus 6 to the 7th over 7 minus p plus 6 to the 6th plus c. And that is our integration using u substitution. Recap it real quick. Pick the inside of the expression, set it equal to u. Then we use that expression there to rewrite it in terms of p to replace it for that other p value there.